This is the question of percentage asked in UPSC C set 2016. Right. So the question is Anita's mathematics test had 70 problems. So how many problems are there? 17 problem. Right. Carrying equal marks. They have not given the marks, but they are saying that there are 70 problems and each have equal marks. Right. 10 arithmetic, 30 algebra and 30 geometry. Right. So arithmetic problem are 10 and algebra problem are 30, geometry problems are 30. Right. Although she answered 70% of the arithmetic. So we have to take 70% of arithmetic. Arithmetic is how many? 10. So what is the 70% of this? It will be 7 questions. Right. 40% of the algebra. So this is algebra, right? So this is, she solved 30% of, 40% of algebra questions. So how many questions? 12 questions. And 60% of the geometry problems. So 60% of total geometry problems are 30. This 0 will cancel this 0. So 18 questions. Right. So she solved 70 questions of arithmetic correctly, 12 questions of algebra and 18 questions of geometry. Right. But she did not pass the test. But still she didn't pass the test because she got less than 60% marks. Right. So we know like all questions carry equal marks. So let's suppose the marks. Marks for each question is. One. So total marks will be. Total question is how much? 70. Marks for each question is one. So it will be 70. You can take even 10 or 100. Anything you can take. Right. It won't make any difference. So these are seven questions. So what will be the marks? Seven into one is equal to seven. These are questions, right? And these are we are calculating marks of Anita. Twelve into one is equal to twelve. Eighteen into one is equal to eighteen. So total marks of Anita is 7 plus 12 plus 18, right? So it will come out 37 marks, right? And the maximum marks or the total marks in the exam is 70. So she didn't get the 60% marks. So the 60% of total marks is 60 upon 100 into 70. This 0 will cancel this 0, this 0 will cancel this 0. So, 42. So, the 60% marks is 42. But she got 37. Right. So, how many marks are less than the 60% marks? 42 marks minus 37 marks is equal to 5 marks. Right. Now he is asking the number of more questions she would have to answer correctly to earn a 60% passing marks. So she have to earn 5 marks more to pass the exam. But the question is asking the more questions she have to solve. So each marks has one. Each question has we assumed here like each question has one marks. Right. So, questions, how many questions she has to solve? Question will be this 5 marks and we have to divide 1 marks. So, it will come out same 5 questions. So, she have to solve 5 questions more to pass this exam. So, the answer will be option B. Right. So, if we are considering here 10 or 100, you have to remember like we have to in the last we have to divide the difference in marks with the with this one marks for each question so that we can get the number of questions are needed to pass the exam so it will come out five questions okay so the answer is d i hope you have some problem you can connect with us right thank you